Hello and welcome back to my channel, Mashallah Cuisine. My name is Naomi and in today's video, I want to share with you all on how to prepare curry goats. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all my current subscribers, those who have been very um, consistent with me from the very beginning of this journey since 2016 until now. I know that there have been times that I wasn't um, uploading as regularly as beforehand, but thank you so much for your patience and I've ensured and I also promised that this year I will share much more of food videos and much more. So it's not just going to be food based about lifestyle and various other tips that I would like to share with yourself. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to Mahashava Cuisine and also hit the notification button for you to be notified when I upload my next video. So this is the goat meat marinated. This was marinated last night. So the goat meat was washed um, with some fresh lemon. And of course I uh, finally chopped it into the desired uh, shape that I needed or size, sorry. So it is marinated. And of course I should have showed you guys how I marinated this on camera, but of course I needed to marinate it beforehand so it can taste really, really nice. So for the marinade, I used two tablespoons of jumbo all-purpose seasoning and I used two tablespoons of smoked paprika or you can use ordinary paprika and I also used um, two tablespoons of all-purpose Dunn Rivers okay this is very very good um, to make your chicken and also um, the curry goat and of course some garlic powder I'll be needing some time as well whilst I'll be making this in um, whilst I'll be cooking all of this together but you can also use fresh thyme as well and what I did is I uh, finally chopped a red onion and a yellow onion and a scotch bonnet so I've mixed it up all together and I marinated this overnight you can marinate this on the same day as well for up to an hour but I prefer to do it overnight so the flavor can go in as well and of course we'll be needing some potatoes so the potatoes will be added in to the goat meat whilst it will be cooking and for this I will be uh, making this with some rice and peas I've already done a video uh, beforehand on how to prepare rice and peas if you haven't done so I guess you need to go back into one of my videos for Valentine's Day and you'll be able to see how I prepare the rice and peas and of course this will be accompanied by uh, some fried plantain so stay tuned for the next bit In my pot here I have added um, half a cup of vegetable cooking oil so I've allowed this to um, become a bit hot in the pan in the pot sorry for a couple of minutes and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to brown the goat meat so we're going to cook it off a bit um, and sear it within the oil and then once that is done then we're going to add some um, water for it to begin to tenderize a bit then we'll add the onions and the potato so what I'm going to do now is add the goat meat. So I've added in the goat's meat and I'm going to allow this to brown just so that all of the flavors begins to, um, just to infuse the oil precisely because you've got, and also, as I forgot to mention, this was also seasoned with curry powder. So curry powder is the key ingredient to make curry goats. So curry powder was also used to season the goat's meat. So of course we want the curry powder to infuse with the paprika, with the garlic powder, the all-purpose seasoning, the onions, the scotch bonnet, just for all of it to infuse together. So I'm going to allow this to uh, brown for up to five minutes and then we'll go into the next step. So as I mentioned, I did use curry powder to marinate the goat meat as well. So I used curry madras, mild flavor. You can use extra hot if you want to, but of course I've added in the scotch bonnet. So I feel as if I didn't need to go above and beyond and be extreme and add um, hot curry powder. So this is the curry powder that I've used. And of course, as you can see here, the goat meat is now browning and infusing with the onions, 
um, the scotch bonnet. It just smells really, really nice. So I'm going to allow this to infuse and tenderize for another eight minutes or so. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the water for this to begin to tenderize again. And then it's more or less a checking process. So if you feel as if the stew here um, is evaporating, just add a bit of water so that it doesn't burn the meat. So after a few minutes, as you can see, it has now browned and got this nice color. I'm going to give it a stir. And now I'm going to add water. Just to get them out so that it can cover the meat. So as it will begin to simmer, it will begin to tenderize the meat as well. At this point, if you feel as if you need to add some more seasoning, you can do so. If you feel as if you don't need to add any more seasoning, that's fine. You'll be allow it to begin to simmer and simmer. If you feel as if the water begins to evaporate, just add more water. Just to ensure that the meat will begin to tenderize. And I'll allow this to simmer uh, just for under an hour. Okay? I'll just allow it to simmer just for under an hour. Just to ensure that the goat meat tenderizes. Because goat meat can also be very tough. So you're gonna give it some time to uh, simmer with all the other flavorings. If you feel as if you need to add a bit more, that's entirely up to yourself. But I think I may add something when I add the potatoes towards the end of the cooking process. Just... So we've allowed the goat meat to simmer and tenderize for just under an hour. I'm just going to add this quantity of tomato puree just to add that rich flavor. Um, it's completely optional. I know that um, I have tried some recipes where the chefs have um, added um, tomato ketchup or browning sauce. Um, so it's completely optional. So I prefer to add some tomato puree. So after the tomato puree, I'm now going to add in three medium potatoes. Okay, so I've added in the potatoes. And I'm going to add in one scotch bonnet, half of a red onion and half of a yellow onion. Because beforehand, when I did add the onion in the marinade, of course, it has caramelized. So um, I love my onions. And I just wanted to add some extra onions in there and some scotch bonnet for some flavor. And I'm now going to add some thyme. You can add fresh thyme as well, but of course I don't have any. So I'm going to add some thyme. Just a generous amount, not too much, because it's a bit overpowering. And I'm going to add in uh, a generous amount of vegeta seasoning, just a bit, to give it a nice taste. And I'm going to allow this to cook until the potatoes are nice and soft, just for another 15 minutes on a low heat so beforehand it was on a medium to high heat so now i'm going to place it to on a medium to low heat so now we are going to check the curry goat as you can see it is delicious the meat has tenderized the potatoes have cooked to perfection and um just to ensure that when you add the potatoes so add the potatoes when it's the sauce is thoroughly cooked so you know that the meat has tenderized and you add the potatoes and here's the scotch bonnet and this is the curry goat now we're gonna go to see how I'm going to plate this up so here we have it guys we have the curry goats 
um, alongside the potatoes. And we also have the fried plantain and rice and peas, which I have made off camera. I do have videos on how to fry plantain and rice and peas. And of course, for a drink, um, I decided to make a lovely pina colada. This video is also available on my channel. I'll be placing the link below on how you'll be able to see uh, the video on how to make a pina colada. So here it is, guys. So we have the curry goats, plantain, rice and peas, and the pina colada. Thank you very much for watching guys as you can see i'm extremely tired as i spent most of my afternoon in the kitchen i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to um my channel i'll be sharing much more videos i've promised and i am fulfilling my promise thank you so much for all the feedback and all the good feedback i've received for people from people sorry on instagram facebook and those who love me dearly thank you so much for always supporting me so if you want to see much more content um let me know what other videos you want me to post please feel free to let me know and don't forget to subscribe until next time bye